What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel here. Jay's Kernel Corner. It is your boy Jay. Hi. Hello. How to do? How are you? Alright. Uh I have for you a very exciting haul today. This is a new to me vendor. Um Ebony Violet. Yeah, I finally gave in and placed an order. So here it is. And I'm stoked. So as you can see, I didn't really get a lot of stuff, but I got a good little something, something, you know, you know. So first and foremost, let's just go ahead and dive into what I got and let's see how all this stuff smell. I did go ahead and take off the, well, take them out of the tins, but they do come in tins. I just prefer to just keep them in bags like this. So out of the 10 it's just easy for me personally but that's just me so let's get into the samples first so first up we have here night at the beach which is gooey s'mores salty sea breezes and toasted marshmallows let's see how this smells here a nice little cuby cuby Ooh. Mm. There's this, there's this underlining spicy note. Kind of like, this is gonna sound weird, but kind of like a spiced graham cracker is kind of what I get with this. I'm pretty sure it's probably coming from the gooey s'mores, but it smells like a, like a spiced s'mores scent. It's interesting. So again, that is night at the beach. And the second sample that we have here is uh, duvet, which is clean cotton, peony, lavender buds, white musk, and sandalwood. It is in a cute little penguin. Let's see how it smells. Mm. Oh, this is a beautiful laundry scent. I definitely get the clean cotton in that lavender and in, in the lavender buds. Mm-hmm. The peony in this is not overpowering, but I can definitely detect it. It it really offsets the on um, the lavender buds. They really work together. And that clean cotton, ooh, that's a really good strong clean cotton too. That's really good actually. So Let's get into what I actually ordered. Uh, first and foremost, let's just dive on into this bad boy here. This is, this is her uh, tumbleweed and terracotta, which is a tumbleweed, terracotta, cedarwood, and a patchouli poured in April. It is in these beautiful bars. This smells so good. Like it's, it's this dry, earthy scent. You get the tumbleweed and the cedarwood in there. The patchouli is not overpowering at all. It really just ties everything together. Mm. And that terracotta, it really gives you like that, just this, that, that desert dryness. Mm. It's fresh and it's it's such a unique scent. It definitely reminds me of a desert. Like if 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 I knew what a desert smelled like, or if I could imagine a desert having a scent, it's literally what this is. It's dry, it's earthy, a little bit, you know, fresh, slightly sweet from that patchouli in that cedar wood. And you definitely do get like this woodsy undertone from that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so, so good. I'm going to cherish that for sure. And I feel like this, this can make a really great blender too. So there's that. Okay, next we have the first uh, souffle here, which is all in my head, which is Baja Mint, 
Uh, fresh white flowers, bergamot, green cactus stem, sun-kissed coconut, soft woods with a kiss of mint, and lavender vanilla. So that looks like. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is a beautiful nighttime blend. You really do get that lavender vanilla and then tie it in with that Baja mint. Mmm. And with the Baja mint, yeah, I do get that a little bit of that coconut and the green cactus. Like there is like this green undertone to it. And it's tying in so beautifully with that lavender vanilla and that mint. Oh. Oh, this is a beautiful nighttime blend. Oh yeah. I would actually melt this in my car. I yeah, I definitely would melt that in my car for sure. Am I the only person who melts wax in their car? I hope I'm not. <laughs> but like when it gets like hot enough outside, like it is starting to do now, I get me like a little spice shaker with a, and, um, a little piece of like Velcro. And now I'll like stick it into the into my cup holder. I pop some wax in, and typically it gets like in the 90s here in North Carolina, right about now. So it's hot enough in my car to melt the wax. Now it just it's like it's like having you know an air freshener, but it's wax, and you can use it in your car. And I'll leave it in there for a day or two. So when it gets dark outside, it'll just like reharden, and then when it gets hot the next day. It'll remelt. You get the idea. Anyways, so next on the table here, we have Kentucky Rain, which is Rain Barrel and April uh, Fresh type, and Mike Wazowski, which is Green and Smith Apples, White Florals, Green Notes, Soft Woods, and Orange Blossom. So we have a layered souffle here. Yes. Oh, this is amazing. Ooh. This is a beautiful, fresh blend. Mm. The April Fresh definitely gives it a little nod towards being laundry. But paired with that, with that Mike Wazowski, it's definitely like a, to my nose, if Gain had like a Granny Smith rainy type of detergent, this is what it will smell like. Cause you get the rain barrel, which is like a nice, like sweet aquatic scent. And then you have the April Fresh in there, which gives it that, that nice breezy laundry undertone. And then you throw in the Mike Wazowski blend. Mm. And I do get the orange blossom, which is not overly floral. It's just a nice sweet, floor scent oh and then you get the granny smith apples which gives it that that nice tartness and a little bit of like a fruity pop mm. and the green notes tied into all of that oh that is so good so 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 that's that's oh that's bomb i'm gonna need me a loaf in that <laughs> so good Next up, we have here the greenhouse, which is Baja Cactus Blossom, Green Apple, and Salty Sea Air. So that bad boy looks like. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, you know what's funny? I really don't like Baja Cactus Blossom by itself, but this is so good pair with that green apple and that salty sea air uh and her green apple from what i can smell so far it's not overly candy sweet mm. so good so so good it almost smells like a green apple like not candy but a green apple flavoring Oh, it's so good. And then and then tie it in with that Baja Cactus Blossom. Mmm. And the salty sea air just gives it this nice touch of freshness. 
That's really, really pretty. Really, that's a great bathroom scent. Or a great bedroom scent too. That's a great kit. It's a great anywhere scent. Darn it. And I love it. So there are those. Next we have here. Uh, cucumber melon lemonade, which is sweet watermelon, refreshing cucumber, and tart lemonade. Look at that pretty bad boy. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. The lemonade has this nice fizzy pop essence to it. Mm. And the watermelon is not overly candy or not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. And that cucumber really adds this nice fresh green tone to it. It's like a nice watery cucumber. And then tie it in with that, with that fizzy lemonade. Mm -hmm. Super good. Very spring, very summer. Next up, we have Summer Sippin', which is Watermelon Lemonade type and Summer Linen type. Look at that. It's giving me Galaxy. It's giving me Supernova. It's giving me Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is nice. This reminds me of sitting outside on the porch on a nice, breezy, spring, warm day, drinking your watermelon lemonade. Mm -hmm. uh, and then your mom or your grandmother or dad, whomever took care of you as a child, is doing laundry in the house and you have the windows open. So you're getting like the whiff of like the fabric softener coming from in from in the house coming outside and, oh super breezy and it's like spring and just mm. oh that smells so good that smells so so good i love when a scent can really give me a visual you know i love that Next up we have here is Thug Passion, which is passion fruit, mangoes, and ice champagne. Look at that, beautiful. Oh yes, fruity, tropical goodness. You really do get that ice champagne. And her ice champagne, to, to my nose, is very reminiscent to champagne toast. Ooh, mmm. And then you get that nice passion fruit mm, and the mango. Ah, oh. it's as if you took the champagne and you put some main, and, and then you put passion fruit inside of the of the champagne, and then you topped it off with like a mango syrup. Oh, so good. See, see, now I want to drink that. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Bless it. <laughs> okay, next we have here is, I'm not your maid, all right? Uh, this is Fresh Picked Strawberry, White Clouds, and Island Margarita. Beautiful. Oh. There's something I love about mixing fruit and like laundry blends. It just does something to my spirit. <laughs> and this is no different. Oh, you get the strawberry and the white clouds. Mm, mm hmm. And the island margarita just adds, just adds to that whole fruity aspect. Oh, so good. And her margarita is not overly limey. Mm. It really smells like a strawberry margarita with like a pop of like this freshness in the background from the white clouds. So good. So good. I love it. So good. Okay. We have a couple more left here. 
Next up, we have love, need, want, which is sweet, syrupy pineapples, creamy coconut, and mahogany woods. This should be interesting. You rarely see like mahogany woods paired with like fruity scents. So let's see how this goes. What it looks like there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Now on cold, I definitely get the pineapple and coconut first. It's giving me pina colada vibes. But I do get a small smidgen of the mahogany woods. It's not super present on cold right now, but I feel like when I melt this, it's really going to shine through. But right now, it's giving me very, very much pina colada. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, yes. Love that. Love that. Love that. All right. Let's get this. If you if you don't get back in that bag, boss. What? Okay. And the last one we have is uh, drop them peaches, Pooh. <laughs> and this is a fresh margarita with sweet peaches. Simple, sweet, to the point. There we go. Yeah, it's basically a peach margarita. <laughs> it's a good peach too. Mm. It's giving me like peach soda mixed in with a margarita mix. Mm-hmm. That's definitely what it smells like and it's super good. Yes. Like if you took those um those margarita mixes that you can like freeze and then just like put in your glass, if you took the peach one and then just the plain margarita mix and put it together, that's what that smells like. Oh so good. So that is uh my ebony violet haul. Needless to say, I think it's obvious that I love every single thing that I have gotten here. So uh, if you took part in the pre-order, uh, let me know what did you get? Uh, did you get any of these? If you did, let me know. And I will be checking you all next time. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you all are having a great time and staying healthy and staying happy the best you can. And until next time, I'm out of here, guys. Bye.